Hello, in this video I'm going to be showing you a bit about how to do a search and how to record the information from a database. So as you can see here, I've done a search for a term, deepfake, and it's given me 1400 magazines, 600 plus academic journals, etc. That's a lot of results. Uh, so first word of advice is be careful what the term you're searching for. Watch how if I change this to deep fake as two words, it changes the results. And not necessarily for the better, all right? So now I have 732, so slightly less. So be aware that you need to try different terms, and that goes for any sort of search you do. Now, if I go up here and click the advanced search and put deep fake in here, the way the advanced search works is I'm now searching for a keyword, all right? And um, it doesn't search the entire document. It looks at the headings, titles, etc. I can also search for a word in the entire document, but I'd be careful. You might want to do that as a second one, all right? Because here's how this works. You can put in all these different qualifiers for what you're looking for. So let's say someone referenced a particular newspaper article or magazine article in something else you read online, you can search for it here by looking for that topic from that magazine. You can also say, look for this but not that to eliminate terms you don't want. And you can do as many as you want. I would only do a couple of terms to start. Okay. Now, the other big thing that can really help is down below here, it says publication date, and you want recent stuff. So I'm going to just change this to looking for deep fake after 2022. All right, and now I'm going to search with that and see what that does. And now I've only got 134, and then 51 academic journals, two books, etc., 2,000 news items, but it's a little better. And as I scan through, you can see some of these are in another language. I could limit that if I only wanted it from English. But this is how you narrow it down, okay? And it's going to take several tries to search and get the results you're looking for. Um, next thing I'm going to show you is what to do once you find an article. And I'm just going to go to this one, a novel approach for detecting deep fake videos using graph neural network. Sounds somewhat interesting. And here's what you get. When you click on a database article, you've got background info up here. They tell you the authors, the date, what the source is, and the publisher, and then some other info over here you don't really need. And you might look at this, and this one says it's a journal, so pretty obvious. It even gives you the volume and the issue. But if you're not sure what it is, you can click on it, and what that's going to do is give you information about the publication and it will tell you what kind of thing it is, how often it's published, who the publisher is. It gives you all the info right there. All right? So that can be very useful. Um, the other thing you can look at is at the very bottom, long article here, they give you this citation but a lot of times it has an error in it so don't trust this like we'll never have na in a post that we do so you want to be careful about that all right this can help you with some of the info uh, for example you need to know the name of the database that you're using right and the database name is not gale power search that's a search engine just like the library or, um, you know, Google, it's where you found info. The name of the database that you're actually in is hiding down in their entry that they give you, where if you look right here, it says Gale in Context Science. It'll start with Gale, and it will be a term in italics. That's how you know the name of the database you're actually using if you found it through the search engine, all right? Um, so this covers how 
to record your info, what you have, all right? Again, it's right up top. And you can click over here to find out what kind of source it is. And then down at the bottom, you can find which Gale product you're actually using, all right? Uh, one other point, when you are looking to include a link to the article, don't use the one that's up in your search bar. That's going to be the search engine results. All right. You can get the link by hitting, as I just did here, the little Get Link button, and that'll give it to you. You can also send a copy of the article to yourself via email. You can download it and then save it into your Google. You can also do that right in the article itself, where it says send to Google Drive right here and download, all right? And it's a good idea to do that. That way, if you find a resource in one place, you can have it saved and continue taking notes later, all right? So I hope you find this video helpful, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.